What is up, you guys? First film girl here. We are doing a battle review. But I'm not starting out with a battle review itself, as you see. I'm starting out with the tank itself. This is the scavenger. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity because can, I don't think you can ever get this tank again. If it comes out in three days, I'm gonna piss myself <laughs> because it's gonna be noobs running around with the scene. Oh, I'm just kidding. It was a one-time event tank. You get it playing the um, grave digger event. Which you can either get this thing, it's basically guaranteed, 50 victories, you have it in your garage. There you go. Enjoy this tank. Now, if this thing is ever for sale, buy it. Buy it. I don't care how much it costs, just buy it. It's a good tank. And if you have it, never sell it. If you sell it, you are an idiot. It's only worth 50 gold anyways. Let's take a look at the tank itself and what it comes with. So you get... Um, tracks, engine, a really good turret, a tier 5 by the way, a 75mm and a 90mm. I have the 90mm. Uh, it's based on the 32 pounder. I've seen this gun before, I swear, but I think it's been removed since the 5.5 purge. So, what do you get for rounds? Armor piercing. 90, 89, 86 to 94 uh, penetration with armor piercing itself. That is not bad. You can pen a KV2 at the front. The KV2's whole armor is 75. In that little weak spot that you use to one shot it, if you're also a KV2, 75 millimeters of armor. Heat. Oh, wait, by the way, it is 188 to 313 damage per shot for armor piercing. That is really good, but most of the time you're going to be doing like 250, 230. Heat. You're gonna have 100 to 110 millimeters of pen. 143 to 238 damage. That is not bad. Most of the time you're gonna be doing around 200 anyways with the heat. High explosive or HE. Usual HE around 24 to 26 millimeters of pen. Um, 248 to 413 damage. Most of the time, if you if you can pen it, you're gonna be doing around a good amount. <laughs> Let's go check out the review. The, um, nope, that's the one. Let's go check out the replay. I just played it a little while ago. Uh, as you can see, good setup. My team's good. Their team is pretty good too. They have some good heavies. They have some de decent armor Shermans. Uh, good auto loader. We have good auto loaders. We do have a Su 100, which I never even noticed, honestly. Um, as you can see there, I said, the tank is good when not up to you. I proved myself wrong this game, and I was shocked why. <laughs> because I played a game, at the last game, I got murdered at up tier, doing it up tier. I kind of dirt out here and want to see if I can hit the house or see my shot hit the house to begin with. Um, as you can see, enemies can spotted. I'm still over here trying to shoot a house. I sometimes do this, and it ends up but a really good game. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. Um, so as you can see here, I make contact with the Sherman Firefly right about now. Yep. And I'm like, oh crap, fuck that, I'm bugging out. I could have engaged him, I could have pushed forward, I could have shot him, but he probably would have shot me, I probably would have missed. Or bounced, whichever one would have So I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm going to conserve my hit points, I'm not going to charge him, I'm going to do the smart thing and pull out. I miss here though. Um, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for the Sherman. Four seconds left on the reload, two seconds, one second, fire. Fire! 234 damage. As I said, you're gonna be doing around 230, 250. Uh, we just lost the, Ital the Italian boy over there, our poor spaghetti monster. This guy misses terribly. I don't know how he thought he was gonna hit me. Uh, if he had to stay still, I probably would have hit him because this tank has such a low velocity for this 90 millimeter or this 35 pounder or whatever it's such a low velocity gun you can literally hit a target almost sitting behind cover or a hill if they have a weak turret too that would be better um no oh, legs back there i missed that shot sadly oh it doesn't really matter later we just killed their m4 that is the first kill for my team <clears throat> But they've already killed two of our guys, which is pretty bad. 
So Sherman Firefly, no shot. I'm like, okay, whatever, we're gonna aim for these guys. I can't get a shot on them either. Look back at the Firefly, can't get a shot on him. Notice this dude missing up. Bounce. That one didn't go through. Thank you, American Gunner. Thank you. <laughs> Buddy, you know. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, heat shell. Nope, no heat for him. Okay, HG for this dude. Nice 113 isn't bad, honestly. For an HG shell and a tank, you can't pan at all. That's not bad. I'll take that any day. Now, I was kind of hoping for a high roll HG. I ended up getting a pretty low roll HG. Did it hit the turret? Uh, we just killed him though, which is great for us. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Both these guys are gonna die right now. Next 10 seconds, dead. And I know this dude's like heckling me. He's like, come on, scab, move up, whatever, whatever. And it's like, no, I'm playing smart. I'm not pushing. I'm trying to give my friendlies cover. I forgot to mention, this thing is almost strictly a tank for covering friendlies. You never want to push too hard with this thing because you push too hard, you're gonna die. Okay, I did really good right there and did six minutes. Okay, okay, back up, reload. If they push, I fire. I see the KV2. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and take a shot at him. Fire, miss. Actually, no, I hit him. I hit a part that I can't penetrate. Oh wait, um, I didn't even notice, but the type ran. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm alone. I'm gonna die. I'm like, okay, I'll run too, but. The enemy, for some reason, didn't think to, tr to follow me. They didn't think to push my position, take care of me. Now I'm full health still. I have done 686 damage so far. Um. So I'm sitting here, I'm just like, okay, okay, what do we do, what do we do? Um. Our Type 64 is over there, he's gonna try and engage the, um, uh, Wi-Fi Firefly. I'm gonna go into this KB2 and the Sherman Firefly because I'm just like, okay, you know what? These guys are very valuable targets. I need to help. They're friendly. I can't get close enough and he ends up killing himself right about now. As you can see, he killed himself. I'm pretty sure he fell. Like an idiot. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch indeed, my friend. Fuck! Anyways, moving forward, I'm like, okay. I'm a 3v2. I'm a 3v1. I'm in a very bad position, I think. I mean, okay, I know what I can do. I gotta knock out somebody first. What do you know? A Wi Fi Firefly just happens to be sitting there and gets obliterated. Not just obliterated, obliterated. Had a chance. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm like, okay, now. This thing moves fairly quick, 43 kilometers, as you can see in the bottom left, almost. I'm like, okay, I get spotted though. They're looking at me, I'm like, okay, can we just make a shoot him? He missed, he missed, which is the greatest thing ever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna see another, I can get another shot on him, but then he knows Sherman 5 is chasing after me. I'm like, okay, I can get another shot. No, no, I bounce. Thank you. Um, so I'm backing up, I'm like, okay, the Sherman Firefly is a pretty big threat. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Have him push me. What's up? Push me, dude. Push me. Push me. I dare you. You missed. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna be stupid and push him. I'm gonna make him push me. Now, I was kind of hoping here for a track break. And I got it. As you can see. And he still fired. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. I'm like, okay, push, push, because I only have 40, he's already 40 seconds into the cap. I get shot here and I'm like, okay, you know what, I have health to spare, I'm gonna keep pushing him and shoot him. Now I guess he thought he was reloading still, I wasn't reloading, which is why I pushed. Now I back up, because, now I figure, I'm gonna give it a few seconds, because this KV-2 cannot see me after 10 seconds. Which, because it's the camo reload, or camo refresh. Okay, I'm gonna do a smart thing and back up here. He does a very dumb thing here, he pushes. He couldn't see me to be doing this, but I did that. And that's how you win with Scavenger at an up tier. The biggest mistake the enemy could ever make to you when it comes to Scavenger, the biggest mistake you could make is pushing a Scavenger with this gun. If they're, if they're smart about it, you've just cornered a beast and they're going to murder you, no matter how... Or, 
Well, depending on how much health you have compared to them, if they're very low health, it doesn't matter. If you're very low health, it does matter a lot. These two guys pushed me, and they paid the consequences. Now, I'm going to be honest, RNG did help me out a lot. I felt it there. I was like, damn, this is amazing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. See you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed that one.